Hey everybody! I'm here today to let you hear the sound of a broken exhaust on a car. This car actually has a broken exhaust pipe and I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like. Then I'm actually going to explain why it makes this type of sound. Without further ado, let's get right into it. And just for the record, this is a Mazda 3. And right now I'm in the car. I'm going to open the door and then I'm going to place the camera outside. And I'm just going to allow you to hear sort of what it sounds like. So I'm going to place the camera down low and I'm just going to rev the car a little bit. We'll do it. We'll just do it one more time. All right, so as you heard right there, it has sort of like a raspy, deep sound. In my opinion, it sounds kind of cool because I'm, I think it sounds sort of like a sports car. I love driving this car. My wife's opinion, however, is a little bit different in that she doesn't like how loud it sounds. And to be honest with you, it's not good at all to be driving a car around with a broken exhaust. I'm just talking about the sound. It has sort of a deep, raspy sound. And the reason that it has that sound is because the parts of the exhaust that muffle the sound to make it quieter and softer are now not functioning properly. Now let me explain this. Your exhaust pipe comes from your engine and then goes in most cars out the back end of the car, okay? And in that exhaust pipe, you're gonna have many different components, but the main ones are gonna be a catalytic converter, which reduces the emissions that your car lets out into the environment massively. And then it's also gonna have a muffler, which basically takes the natural sound of the car's exhaust and muffles it so that it's really, really quiet, okay? If you want a car that is not, that is very loud, and if you don't have a muffler, it's, you know, sometimes called a straight pipe exhaust. It's going to be really loud. However, the sound isn't the most desirable. In this car, in this Mazda 3, it's a small four-cylinder engine, okay? So if you remove the muffler, although it gets louder and deeper, it's not a clean sound. It's like a... Like one of those types of sounds. It doesn't sound that great. And the reason is simply because the exhaust is broken before it gets to the muffler. Now in this car, in my opinion, I haven't put it up on a lift yet. I'm gonna check it out very soon, within the next few days after filming this video. By the time it's published, the exhaust will probably be fixed. But um, basically, uh, in this car, it sounds like there's just a slight hole in the exhaust because the exhaust sound is just a little bit deeper and a little bit more raspy than usual. If your exhaust pipe is completely broken, like completely broken, it's gonna be like, rum, rum, it's really gonna sound so loud and so raspy and it, it's you know if it's broken before the catalytic converter you're gonna be letting out horrible emissions into the environment so you can you should get it fixed ASAP um, if it's broken after the catalytic converter it, you know technically the emissions are still being withheld but it's still gonna be really really loud okay as far as I know from when I took a look underneath the car when I went down on the ground this is broken after the catalytic converter so the emissions should still be under control but it, the sound is there just really really loud much louder than usual i mean this is a four cylinder car and it sounds like a really horrible v8 to be honest with you and like i said the reason is because the exhaust gases that would usually pass through the catalytic converter and the muffler in this car at least they're now only passing through the catalytic converter and then there's a little leak or a hole that's letting them out, which produces that sound because only some of the exhaust is exiting after the muffler. Some of it is exiting before the muffler. So some of the sound doesn't get muffled. So like I said, that's the sound of a broken exhaust on a car. But in addition to just revving the engine in this video, that wouldn't be like, sure, I gave you the sound of what it sounds like, but I also wanted to explain why it sounds like that. Because if you, you're having this problem, if you're in this situation where you have a broken exhaust, or a leaking exhaust or an exhaust pipe with a hole in it on your car you should also you should know what it sounds like but you should also know why it's making that sound this way you can be educated and you can hopefully make an educated decision as to what you're going to do about it and when you're going to do it uh, when you're going to actually complete that repair and that's basically it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.